Hi everyone, this is Tess, and this is my rendition of Blown Away by Carrie Underwood. This song holds a lot of emotional significance to me, so I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. Okay, Tess, this song was a really solid performance from you. Um, I have heard you sing better, so the advice I will give you is to stay out of your nose on the high notes and just work on always improving, always moving forward. Uh, watch your pitch, but I do like this range for your voice. At times, it felt like you were on the back half of the beat, so it would help to be a little bit more rhythmic. But overall, there was good momentum in your performance. And the crescendos were there. I just wish they would have gone somewhere. They would have gone somewhere a little bit faster with a little bit more drama. Tess, this performance for me was rather plain and not very exciting. I still hear a lot of straight tone singing, which you don't need to eliminate completely, but not using any vibrato at all during a whole performance makes it rather great to me. Especially during long notes. I would have liked to hear you play around with vibrato and using more emotion. I know the emotion part is difficult to fix, but I'll link an article to you that maybe can teach you something. One thing I also suggest for emotion is to distort your voice in the beginning and or ending of phrases. Maybe not every time, but doing different things with your voice to bring it further away from the status quo makes for a more interesting performance, especially if you're already struggling to bring emotion. It also sounds like you aren't pulling your vocal strength from the stomach, which makes it sound more like a hymn than a country song to me. Also, if you had increased the volume of your low notes, it would have elevated this a bit more, since I know it's your strength being an alto singer, and it didn't come forward in this entry. I could actually barely hear you in the low notes. I know this criticism is probably not what you want to hear, but I think it's nicer to be honest with you instead of lying to you so you don't understand why you're not getting the results that you want. Hello, hello! It's Kiba here. For my Kings and Queen challenge for final round two, I went with Alicia Keys' If I Ain't Got You. It's such a fun song and I hope you guys enjoy my rendition. Some people live for the fortune Some people live just for the fame Some people live for the power yeah. Some people live just to play the game Some people think that the physical things Your tone was so clear and bright, I absolutely love it. Um, your phrasing was very musical and I think you emoted the song very well. 
Mikey, but you are a professional. You take on some of the hardest songs and you just perform. Bam, bam, bam. You get it done. You are definitely someone to count on. But I do feel this song lacks a bit of creativity, and I didn't feel like you meant what you sang. It's this thing with emotion again, which is a difficult thing to teach and to define. But I think if you had changed the duration of some notes, added some sounds in between the notes like sighs or exhaling, subtle interjections or anything else suitable, you could have made this your own and therefore conveyed that this song means something to you. Otherwise it just becomes an imitation and that's not really what I'm looking for. We already have an Alicia Keys, I want to hear Kiba Walker. Again, as I always say, don't be afraid to exaggerate. And I understand this criticism is a bit nitpicky, but that's what it comes down to when we have such strong competitors. You are not the only one who did an amazing job in this episode. On a positive note, I'm really impressed by your ability to reach high notes. Most people would strain to reach them, which is maybe why some people think you are straining, but I don't hear it. You just have a really high voice which makes you special. It just got a bit sharp there on the highest note, but I hope you know your limits. Kiba, If I Ain't Got You is a deceptively difficult song that you made a remarkable attempt at. Unfortunately, a lot of the time it felt like you were hitting above your weight class. Try master singing from your diaphragm before attempting a song like this, because unfortunately it sounded like you were really straining your throat. But this was a genuinely good attempt. Hey everybody, it's Kinga. So the theme of this round is kings and queens of music, and I asked myself, who is the best queen out there? <laughs> That's right, it's the king himself, Freddie Mercury. So here's Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Enjoy. Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive. Turn it inside out, yeah. Floating around in ecstasy, so don't stop me now. Don't stop me, cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. I shoot a star leaping through the sky like a tiger, defying the laws of gravity. I'm a racing car passing by like Lady Godiva. I'm gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. I'm burning through the sky, yeah. 200 degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Hey, I'm traveling at the speed of light. I wanna make a supersonic man out of you. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. A good time, just give me a call. Don't stop Cause me I'm now. having a good time. Yes, I'm now. having a good time. I don't, don't wanna stop now. at all. Ginga, this was so good, I can't even... Oh my god. You are just taking in every criticism like a sponge, even if it's not directed to you specifically. You weren't afraid to exaggerate in this entry, and look what happened. This just exudes energy, fun and craziness. It was a brave song choice, and you pulled it off with all the needed nuances. And you made it your own. I think it's so cool the way you can contort your voice. I like the way you distorted your voice and then exploded into that great vibrato. It made it really interesting and fun to listen to. I don't think I've heard anything quite like this. Definitely not in this competition at least. Most people are afraid to go there. So thank you for bringing that awesome energy as usual. You really do make me happy by listening to you. Though it will be interesting to hear how you manage in the next theme, which is the complete opposite of what we currently know you're good at which is conveying happiness. So good luck to you. 
props for a really good artist choice for this theme and especially for your voice. I will say that yours was probably the most fun to listen to. A very entertaining performance. You had lots and lots of energy and a lot of effort in there and really good control. The one thing I will say is try to keep your voice out of your throat as straining those muscles can hurt your vocal cords really good. Your vibrato is so magical. Um, I'm serious. Your voice and energy just seem to pour from you and it sounds really effortless. But um, there are times where it might benefit you to bring it, bring it in just a little bit to help establish a little bit more of a center and to make those really big, explosive moments more impactful. I put out all my emotions into this performance and stepped out of my comfort zone with a song that took me so long to practice to the point where I think my neighbors were probably mentally screaming, no, we don't believe in life after love, so just die. Anyway, enjoy me being tearful and emo. I try to keep pushing me aside and I can't break through There's no talking to you So sad that you're leaving It takes time to leave it all And after all is said and done You're gonna be the lone do you believe in life after love? I am feeling some things that you say And I really don't think you're strong enough now Do you believe in life after love? I am feeling some things that you was a fantastic song choice overall especially for this category and more specifically for your voice um, just work on maintaining vocal consistency when moving into your head voice reaching those higher notes um, but overall it was really difficult to fault the only thing I could say maybe is get a better microphone your enunciation was a little bit weak, which took from the strength of the performance, but it was very emotional overall. Um, the moments where it felt unsupported were overshadowed by the good moments where your voice just really floated above the piano instrumental. You made this song your own, and that's greatly appreciated. You didn't try to sing like Cher, and that's great because, let's be honest, you probably would have failed miserably. I mean, come on, it's Cher. I like that you listened to my feedback and really put effort into making yourself sound different this round. But I still found myself enjoying the usual middle range more than the higher notes. They weren't as strong. Just putting more volume into them might make it more convincing. I'm still not convinced you can be that versatile of a singer. You don't hesitate to bring much volume into your middle range, but your higher and lower notes are all sung very quietly and it just felt a bit lackluster. And I barely heard you in your lower notes. You are singing more dynamically in your middle range and I would love to hear the same dynamic variation in your other notes. I understand it can be difficult to do that, especially if you aren't used to singing them. But with practice I think you'll get there. Also make sure to use compressor on your voice recording and lower the volume of the instrumental a bit and I think that'll also help intensifying your vocals. I found this performance rather safe still. Can you belt? Because to me it sounds like you should be able to do it. A voice with that resonance should be pretty strong. I love that distortion in the end by the way, it just makes it more interesting. Hey everyone, I chose Boa, the queen of K-pop for this round. I found it a little difficult to mix everything together because it has such a strong backing track and I'm so used to doing stripped down versions of songs. So mixing was a little finicky but I really hope you enjoy it. Do you 
beginning of your song was so velvety and sultry and I just you really suit this style well your upper range was very pretty as well and I'm very pleased with this performance wow Kim this was so sexy if I went that way I wouldn't be crazy your voice is just so damn beautiful you continue to use that high ethereal head voice that I love as well as the low mature voice Something that would have made it better is to use more reverb. That really helps to enhance your ethereal high voice even more. And I suggest you try that for a future entry. Then it really has the potential to be absolutely amazing. This deal was pretty amazing. However, I can't say I'm completely happy with this entry since it was the complete opposite of what I asked from you, which is power. Maybe you can't belt, which you don't have to be able to do to be a singer people love listening to, but in this competition it might be a problem eventually since there are others here who can. Any limitation that you have that someone else doesn't have is most likely going to hold you back here. I'm just being honest with you. If I'm wrong, please prove me wrong next time. At least I can say with confidence that you are one of the strongest competitors in regards to soft singing, if not THE strongest. That is your niche and I'm absolutely not asking you to not do that again, I'm just curious to know what else you can do, if you can be a more versatile singer. But otherwise, really fantastic job, I loved it. Kim, this was a really good overall performance. You had really great control throughout. Try to keep from straining on the high notes and keeping your voice out of your throat when you're reaching up. Unfortunately, I can't comment on pronunciation, but from what I've heard, having been to Korea myself, a uh, really good job. Hey guys, my name's Star. I'm super excited to be singing a song by the legendary Elvis Presley this week. This song has had a huge impact on me growing up, and I know I'll be dancing to it at my wedding one day. I hope you enjoy my submission. Thank you! Yeah. 
I think you did a good job. I like how you transition between your chest voice and head voice. I think that's a pretty way to sing. Especially the I meant to be part around 115. I heard hints of rather strong voice there actually and I suggest you use that more. It has good resonance. Your lower register isn't very strong though, your voice gets really airy. And this is not only on the low notes actually, and it makes your pitches rather unstable, so I suggest you try to sing in the same way you're talking, because you aren't talking in an airy voice. I'll link a video to you that might give you some clarity on this. Also kudos to you for learning how to mix your audio properly. This was a really nice performance. It was very breathy, which made for a really nice ambience. Um, you did a very good job of keeping your voice in your diaphragm and maintaining that depth of quality. And, and there was really good tone in there as well. Good job. Uh, be very careful with your pitches, but your singing is very mellow and pretty in this song. When singing with live accompaniment, I think you could do very well to stretch out some phrases and really play and emote with those pretty notes. But um, either way, you know, whether it's a recording or live accompaniment, I think you would benefit from a taller, more mature tone. Hey guys, it's Sion here. Originally, I wanted to do Man in the Mirror for my cover, uh, for the Kings and Queens setup of this competition, but I decided instead to do Human Nature because I like to give off a more diverse uh, song selection and choice and really challenge myself to sing calmly. I think it's actually harder to sing calmly and still be technically proficient than it is to belt like crazy and I hopefully manage to perform uh, well enough in that regard to continue in the competition. I feel like I could have done better, but I definitely didn't do terribly, so I hope you all enjoy Human Nature by Michael Jackson. Looking out across the nighttime The city wakes a sleepless eye Hear her voice Take my window A sweet seducing sighs Get me out Into the night time For walls won't hold me tonight Oh, if this town Is just an apple Then let me take a bite If they say why, why it's human nature why why does it do me that way if they say why why tell them that it's human nature why why does it do me that way reaching out to touch a stranger electric eyes are everywhere oh see that girl she knows I'm watching She likes the way I stare If they say why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why Does he do me that way If they say why, why Tell them that it's human nature Why, why Does he do me that way Hi, I'm Robert James, and for my Kings and Queens entry, I sang Defying Gravity by Broadway Queen Idina Menzel. Something has changed within me, something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep It's time to trust my instinct Close my eyes and leave It's time to try Defying gravity I think I'll try Defying gravity 
kiss me goodbye I'm defying gravity And you won't bring me down Thanks for watching. See you soon with the result. Please read the description for information about the missing contestants. At, le at least any any limitation so fucking annoying